Hello, home studio friends from all over the world. This is Evmorphos Kasinakis from homestudioproject.com. I hope you're having a fantastic week so far, creative week full of music. Today we're going to talk about EQ. EQ stands for equalization. Equalizer is the most important tool that we use in our mixes. And today we are going to learn how to use it uh, properly and how we can manage some frequencies in each instrument so we can have better mixes. As you can see here, this is an audio channel settings and here in the middle I have my equalizer. This is a graphical re representation of the equalizer. And down here we have four bands. Four bands means if you want four spots, four places, so you can manage your frequencies to increase or to low some frequency of uh, some instruments so you can get a better sound. As you can see down here you have we have the range of the frequencies. The lowest is 20 Hz and the highest is 20,000 Hz or 20 kilohertz. Now it's m very difficult to hear 20 Hz or 20,000 kilohertz. It depends uh, from person to person. It depends on the ear structure, on age. Uh, imagine that some animals can hear up uh, to 40 kilohertz, like dogs, for example. Now, here in each frequency, I have three options or three buttons, if you will. The first one is as you can see here, EQ band 1 gain. The gain is a it's like a volume fader, so you can increase or decrease a frequency. As you can see, I pull up or down a frequency. Okay? The second button is the is the frequency. I can move around left or right until I find which frequency I want to increase or decrease. Okay. Now, and the third button is as you can see here EQ band 1 Q. Q is a very clever button because if I want to increase for example, this frequency at 126 kil uh, hertz, excuse me, hertz, the Q helps me to make this curve not so wide. Okay, because if I have so wide, the curve affects and the others frequencies at the left and the right. These are th the three main buttons that we use in every equalizer and we must to learn to use them correctly. Now, let's go and see equalizer in an example. For the huge usage of uh, this video, I have recorded a guitar part. Okay, as you can hear, this guitar part has a bass, some booming, uh, so I want to cut this frequency 
so I'm going to use this and I'm going to use high pass as you can see it cuts the frequency that I don't want to hear okay I will bypass equalizer without equalizer with equalizer without another example let's say I want to manage this frequency or to search a better frequency or which frequency I want to cut off you can hear the original recording and this one with the EQ I want to show you another equalizer that comes with a Cubase 5 it's the same, exactly the same the only difference is that there are knobs ok, gain, frequency and Q factor as you can see there are some presets here so we can use for strumming guitar I have told many times here in my videos or my blog post that you have anything you need to begin mixing and recording of course don't waste your time looking for the perfect plugins you have everything you need every THW you have has the necessary plugins, VST instruments so you can start recording and mixing your songs this is your goal and this is on what you have to focus you have to work hard with what you've got use uh, your equali equalizer to learn how to use it properly okay now if you like this video don't forget to hit like button don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you will be notified whenever a video is uploaded and go to homestudioproject.com to sign up because every week a free content is uploading for you so until the next video take care bye bye